So you thought you were all done with stem and leaf plots, but sorry to say no. <laughs> there is one other thing we can do to you. Namely, we can make a side-by-side -side stem and leaf plot. All right, so a side-by-side -side stem and leaf plot um, is often used when you have two main types of data, or excuse me, two strata to your data. Um, remember strata, stratified samples from chapter one, right? Um, we do this with gender a lot, or we could do it with like East and West, or Michigan and Michigan State, or whatever. So when you have two different sides, but there are both um, shown up in that data set, then you can parse it out and look at it by gender or by ethnicity or by college or whatever it is you're looking at. So this is the exact same data set that we've been looking at, but I've added in the female and male categories. So over here, we have all the, the male students in the class, and over here we have all the female students in the class. Okay, And then up at the top, I had to put the key up there which is 706, see that 706 right there, means that a woman scored 707 and the man scored 606, okay? So let me give you another example here. If it was, uh, let's look at this one, 725, 7 slash 2 slash 5 means a woman in the class scored 27 because 2 is the stem, right? So it's still in the 20s. And then 7 is her leaf. And a man scored 25. Okay? So in other words, the left side leafs are the women. But they're still leafs, right? The center column or leaves, leaves. Center column is full of the stems, and the right leaves are the men, right? So it means the women you're sort of going to read backwards because um, you read them, set the stem comes first and then the leaf. So for the women, you're going to be going backwards. So it's 0, 7, 0, 8, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 4, and so on. All right, what was the highest grade for any man on the quiz? Okay, well, the highest values are down here. The highest score for a man is 50, which also happened to be the highest score for a woman because we have a woman here, five is her stem, zero is her leaf. So 50 for a woman. Now, how many men were in the class? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 19 leaves on the men's side. And that means that there's got to be 12 leaves on the women's side because I remember that there's 31 total. But I can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Look at that. All right, so if that's the case, what percent of this class was male? Hmm. Well, that would be... 19 divided by 31. I'll make Excel do that. I'll just put it over here somewhere. Equals 19 over 31. That's 61.3%. Make sure you give it a percent symbol. There we go. What percent was female? Well, you can do it by either 12 out of 31, or you know it's got to add up to 100%, so you can take 100 minus the 61.3 or whatever. Oops, I just did that wrong. I did 12 divided by 19. I'm at 31. There we go. So it's 38.7. Notice those two percentages add up to 100%, right? Right. All right, if a passing grade was 35 out of 50, how many men passed? How many got higher than 35? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them. Now, what percent is that of men? Well, of the men, there's only 19 men. So what you have to do is you take 7 divided by 19. And that would be 36.8%. I'll write that down. There we go. It's a different denominator because it says of men, which means you're looking at the 19 there. 